So, you know, I think that, uh, you know, I'm both a, a molecular and cell biology professor as well as a bioengineering professor. And, you know, the nature of the problems tends to be, you know, of course, a, a little bit different that in MCB, it tends to be very explorational, um, discovery based, hypothesis driven. And this has been, you know, incredible way to discover new phenomena in biology, discover new systems. And you know, this has led to the discovery of RNAi and, and CRISPR-Cas9 uh, as interesting initial observations that led to the development of technology. And, uh, you know, the, the other approach, if I flip on my engineering hat, is to be very problem driven, where you, you have the end in mind, you know, you, you know where you want to go. And then you, you know, develop technologies that can be able to get you there. And that development in and of itself is, is quite challenging, but uh, you kind of know where the goalpost is um, from, from the outset. So it's two pretty different approaches towards research and towards biological and biomedical discovery. Um, as for the grand challenges that these can be, you know, deployed to address, uh, you know, where, where do you start? <laughs> There's, you know, we are continuously discovering fundamentally new things about life and how it works on our planet and all the complexity that has emerged over the past four billions of years. And in addition, um, those, you know, the, the organisms that have resulted from that evolution uh, have some challenges. You know, um, human beings have societal issues. I mean, obviously for the past 15 months or 18 months, we've been living through one very big one. So there are, you know, a number of healthcare challenges, climate change challenges, bioenergy challenges that uh, on the engineering side, we'd like to be able to create solutions for.